Um, I'm David Leake, and I'm going to be telling you about my work in case-based reasoning. Um, a key problem in artificial intelligence is how AI systems can acquire the knowledge they need to perform at a high level. Um, the classic approach to acquiring this knowledge has been conventional knowledge acquisition, working with experts to try to um, get them to characterize the knowledge. That can result in very powerful knowledge, but can also be extremely expensive. Um, another approach of which you've seen a, a very nice example in the last talk is basically having systems that um, will explore an environment, will be using a lot of data to try to um, figure out patterns from that. I'm going to be talking about something that's actually somewhat complementary to that, looking at circumstances in which there may be fairly few examples or may even be as little as one example, and how can a system exploit that. That's something that we see um, human children doing as they learn. It's also interesting <coughs> that if one looks at how human experts perform, they sometimes do the same thing. Some years ago, there was a nice study of how doctors reason and often, if they have a difficult case, they're going to be asking for what experience does some other doctor have with that. And so this is really very powerful. So what I'm working on is building AI systems that can make the most of each experience. And the practical goals of that are, first of all, enabling effective reasoning from very limited data, being able to customize the solutions to the current context, to the current needs, and also providing explainable solutions. Sometimes it's very hard to get the user community to accept um, that a black box system that just um, has like a neural network been trained, has been doing well, um, how do they really trust that for the absolutely crucial tasks? If you can provide to them a previous example and say this is the example that seems relevant, this is how the system has characterized the situation and adapted it to fit, then you can have much higher confidence and can also have an interactive process where it's not just the system making a judgment, but the system and human are working together to form the solution. So case-based reasoning is cognitively inspired. It's basically a combination of memory processes, which has challenges of how the information should be organized to get relevant information, analogical mapping to bring over potentially a very complicated structured solution. That solution could be something like a plan that involves a lot of different components, potentially a lot of causal knowledge. And then in order to be able to deal with novel situations, there has to be the capability to adapt that case to fit the new situation. So the basic process is a cycle where a system receives a problem, does situation assessment to figure out what might be the most relevant aspects of that problem, retrieves prior cases, assesses similarity, adapts the case to fit, maybe in a repeated process if necessary, and then finally applies it and learns from that. So every problem-solving episode is an opportunity for learning. It's also possible to learn not only from successes but from failures, because if it generated an erroneous solution, it learns that in this situation, that solution causes problems, and it can then anticipate and avoid those problems in the future. So we've been working on a range of um, tasks, a range of problems in this domain. Um, we've been working with people generating scientific workflows, which basically naturally map to cases. How can you take provenance information, mine that to get cases for workflows, which can then help in workflow generation? Um, one of the big um, challenges for case-based reasoning is where the knowledge for adapting cases comes from. And so we've been looking at multiple strategies for that, including mining web sources of information. We've also looked at even though you want to be able to reason from few cases, if you have many cases, you can actually apply machine learning approaches to <laughs> that body of cases to get adaptation knowledge and then deal with novel cases based on that. Um, another thing we've looked at is meta-reasoning, basically how given a set of experiences it's possible for a system to learn how better to organize those in order to get the most on-point cases or how better to adapt them based on that experience. And um, finally, the work that we've been doing actually has circled around somewhat in some work in collaboration with the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition at University of West Florida. We've looked at how case-based reasoning can be brought into conventional knowledge capture processes. They've developed tools for concept mapping, and um, we've integrated into their interface um, tools for aiding a human at knowledge capture 
in making suggestions for things to include in a knowledge model to make it easier to access um, knowledge that's stored by other experts. So that's a brief sketch, and I'd be very happy to discuss it further in the break. Thank you.